here is the altered book that I made for my mom's 81st birthday. I'm hoping she's going to love it or at least like it. Um, I can't do the latch with one-handed, one so um, this was a bracelet. The other side, I'll flip it this way, I guess. Where it connects, I added some chain from a necklace. And some other bits and pieces from a different necklace. So here, let me flip it this away. So you can see all the pages. Okay, there that goes. Let me get this straight. Okay, so here we go. This is the first page here. You can play around with these little guys there. Here's this. Let me lift this up. Here's these little pages here that she can journal on or sketch on. My mom was an artist. Well, she still is an artist. She doesn't do much anymore, but she used to have her own gallery in Kerrville, Texas, or outside of there on the Ingram Loop. Here's some watercolor pages or some mixed media she can do. Here's another one that she can play around with or fiddle with, fidget with. Here's the waterfall, is what they call this. And she can sketch or draw or paint on these, and this, it comes out. So she can take it out if she wants to. Here's a little note card that she can right on here's a bookmark that she reads she can take these out and um, you know mark her pages here's some more watercolors more journaling pages and here's a little pocket that she can put something in. And here's some more of the little fidget. I call them fidgets. I'm not sure what their correct name would be. Here's another pocket. And a note. And a note. Um, she can write on the back of this if she would like. Oh, and I forgot to say, my mom loves poppies, so that's why I did a, a lot of poppies on here. Here's my little cutesy owl. Here's another one of those little fidget things. Another waterfall. And this has a little pocket she can put something in. Some more journal pages and watercolor pages. And here's what they call an ATC card, which is an artist trading card made off of a playing card, off of, you know, like decks of cards. And there's a little corner pocket that something can be put in. There goes that. And this here has two pockets and another ATC card with a corner pocket and this is like a belly band and some little strips of paper she can write on or do something on. A little dangly has a feather. Another um, note that, you know, when I wrote a note to her. Here's 
here's some more. Here's another pocket. And she can write on the back of this. Or draw. Here's the more. This is the little tag. More danglies with um, Coca Pelli. Watercolor pages. Journaling pages. Here's another bookmark with a feather on it. Here's another one of those bands with a tag with a key on it. Some more journaling pages. I love that painted bunning. More watercolor pages. Another bookmark in a pocket. And here's another waterfall, and that has a pocket in it with a um, a tag. It has actually two pockets. Let me open this up again. And this has an ATC card in it. And this has a, a tag here. And then on this side, that look at that pretty butterfly. This was done with a napkin um, and a music uh, sheet on the back. And then I put a, what they call napkinizing, half of a, the butterfly on here, which I thought was pretty. So let me put that back. Oops. Come on. Okay. There we go. More poppies. And then here's the corner pocket. Mr. Parrot or Mrs. Whichever. And this one has two pockets. This was from an old calendar. The ones that have the two pockets in it. And they had pockets on the bottom of each month of the pages of the calendar, which I thought was kind of neat. Here's a metal cross that she can take out and do something with. Another bookmark or tag. She can do, you know, something with these or just leave them in here. Flip that over. Another note card with a saying on the back or quote on the back. More watercolor pages, journaling pages, another pocket with a tag. One, another fidget thing there. Here's another pocket with a tag. This is made from vellum, but this was an ephemera from a packet that I had gotten. And this is the end. These here, there's three signatures, what they call signatures, in this book. So there's three signatures in all these packets. And that's the center of the book. And then here is the surprise in the back. Here's a small altered Altoid tin that I had made for her with ribbons on them so she can pull them out pretty easily. This one doesn't have anything in it as of yet. I'm not sure what I want to put in there yet. And then this one is an Altoid tin. There's the bottom. Look how pretty that is. This is old costume jewelry. And that hummingbird is a, a silver bead. And that one's not so much a um, 
costume jewelry that's modern. But all those other ones are old costume jewelry from brooches and earrings and that sort of a thing. And then these corners right here, um, those are metal corners. Those aren't costume jewelry. It's just for like junk journaling. Then on the inside, let me see if I can open this one-handed. Ah, I can. This will be a surprise for her. These are watercolor half pans. Let me see if I can get out of the light. And go like this. These are half pans of watercolors that she can use. And she's got plenty of brushes. Then this I made out of a leather, um, piece of leather. And then this is a piece of uh, plastic um, notebook, uh, like divider that goes in your ring binders. And anyway, I made this to go on top. So it won't be as messy. And she can use this side um, to water down um, like, use this as a palette. And put that back in there. And let's see if I can close this one-handedly. I don't know if I can. Okay, let's see. Oops. I almost got it. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do this on camera. Oh, I had it. There we go. Ah, there. So, now it's closed. So anyway, I'm hoping that she loves this. And this was a little bit longer video than I thought it was going to be. So here you go. And thanks to those ladies who I had lots of support with in my junk journaling um, group. A great group of ladies in there. Anyway, goodbye for now. Until the next junk journal comes along. <laughs>